Hi, I'm Nadia Lim. As a cook and nutritionist, I'm passionate about healthy eating and living. In this new series, I travel around New Zealand and discover the origin of our food. How lucky am I? I meet the farmers, the growers, and find out where all this fabulous food comes from. Ooh, I've come across a good bunch here. And I show you how to turn raw ingredients into something fabulous. And cream scones. Did I mention that I love to eat? Yum. Avocados grow really well here and are full of antioxidants and good fats for a healthy heart. They're available in Asia from September to February. The island here has a um, temperature advantage over the mainland, mm -hmm. being surrounded by water. So we're warmer generally by one or two degrees. Oh, okay. And as a result of that, we grow what I, I think really some good fruit. Really yeah. good fruit. Cut them in half. There's always a little moment of anticipation when you're thinking, oh, is it going to be a perfect is avocado it, inside? I or? know what you're talking about. <laughs> then just give it a little twist <gasps> and look at that. Beautiful. That's perfect. Can I try a little sure. bit? Sure. I'll just scoop a bit out with the knife for you. Thank you. Mmm. I love avocados. Yeah. It's so creamy and, yeah, just yeah. delicious. Creamy, fresh tasting. Ian and Liz McGillivray farm a 14-acre block in a quiet valley near Tapuna. All fruit is carefully grown according to Avo Green protocols. At harvest time, everyone lends Hi. a hand, including me. Do you need some help picking the avocado? I'd love some help. Sure, you show me the way Why and I'll I? come and help you pick them. <laughs> this kind of looks like a baby suit. <laughs> well. How many kilos do you uh, pick in here? It would be about 10 kilos in wow. this. And it, it does feel quite heavy. Yeah. So it's good exercise. Oh, yes, yes, particularly when you've got to walk up and down hills. So when you clip it that way up and yep. just about as close as you can to the avocado. All right, as close as you can yes. get. Yes, lovely. There we go. Did I do a good job? You did a marvellous job. Perfect. That's really good. So you'd give me a job here? Yes, you've got to be a bit quicker. <laughs> That's the only thing. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's one down. Lots more to go. Lots more to go. <laughs> the avocados are packed in a shed nearby. It's all traceable back to the farm where it was grown. I'm going to cook in Liz and Ian's kitchen. Avocados are a great nutrition booster and are on the menu. Liz and Ian have been working away hard picking avocados in the orchard, so I'm going to make them a little tasty treat that they really deserve. I'm making a really easy chocolate and avocado mousse. It might sound strange using avocado in a sweet dish, but I promise you, avocado works really well in desserts. So start off with some dark chocolate. Go for about 60 to 70%, so this dark Ghana Whitaker's chocolate is perfect. And now we need to melt the chocolate. Bring the water to a simmer and then continuously stir the chocolate with a wooden spoon until it's melted. Blend together two avocados, some coconut cream, and two to three tablespoons of honey. Lid on and blitz it all up. Pour into glass bowls and refrigerate for half an hour to set. So now all you have to do is garnish them with some fresh berries. I've got some blueberries here. Perfect. And now you could finish off with a little bit more chocolate. Look at that. What a perfect little dessert. Mmm. That's so good. It's creamy, chocolatey. It's a perfect dessert. But I actually think you could have this for breakfast too. <laughs> <laughs>